Welcome to Armory Digital Super Speedway, the next race of the NASCAR International Cup Series, the next Super Speedway of the NASCAR International Cup Series. In these types of tracks, in these restrictor play tracks, it's really anybody who can win it. The starting lineup honestly doesn't matter. But in case you do care, we have Morrison Jr. in first, Cromberg in second, Hopkins in third, Brown in fourth, Pasquale in fifth, Davenport in sixth. This 2.6 mile, well, it's really not a triable. The first half of the track is like Indy, and the second half of the track runs like Daytona and Talladega. A very interesting super speedway indeed. Cars will pit around halfway through, around this 16, around these 16 laps. As the cars approach the restart zone. Just 10 races left until the playoffs. A lot of implications could come here. And we're underway. The cars are accelerating here at Seattle. The Super Speedway Aces of Pasquale and Fontaine are the favorites. But you but we do have LGD that won a Super Speedway race in Daytona and Steve Rado who won one back in Michigan. Like I said, this track is really anybody's race. Salters go into the inside and make some positions, and so is the 70 of Martin way in the back of your screen. Here's a view for Moon. He is hugging the inside line. Let's go to the driver who's really hugging in the inside line here, Jay Salter in the 80. Nobody is really taking... Nobody is making much risk yet. They're a decent amount of park, but we are four wide. Four wide coming to the start and finish line. It is the 34 of Hopkins who takes lap one, and they are still four wide. How are they not crashed yet? And speaking of that, look at Martin hugging the inside line, getting the slingshot. He's looking to get a slingshot off of Crowley to work his way up. Did I mention that he started a dead last? <laughs> that just goes to show you that it really does not matter where you start in these super speedway races. Martin has went from last to, I believe, 10th at the moment. Salter is working her way up. The Super Speedway Asa Pasquale is now in the lead. Martin into the inside again, hugging the apron there. And he looks to be taking first. Lamardi, who also started in the back, is hugging the inside lane. And now it's Pasquale who has lap two. As it is in Super Speedway traditions for these next couple of laps, let's crank it up, shall we? You have not, really, you have not missed anything too exciting, but in this super speedway racing, everything is exciting. We have Fontaine and Martin working up, teammates who are working up their way to the first spot. And now it looks like Zach Johnson could be the one who gets into the lead, and guys looking at it to the inside as well. It looks like the 57 of Blaine Harrell, who's won a super speedway race before. It was the end of lap four where Harold just slams into the wall, completely loses speed. 
unless he can do really good in this pit cycle, that's going to end his day for sure. It's still Peak Mine, who was usually la who was now last in the pack, followed by Rada and Demetale. Well, following Rada and Demetale. All of the rookies, except for Kato, are pretty backmarked at the moment. It looks like the 74 of Yankovic looks to take the lead. And look at the two of Keys who has the lead right now. Four wide coming into turn three. No significant wrecks yet. The 70 of Martin has the lead, but Yankovic is looking. Is it the inside or the outside that's the most viable? You get less. There's more grip on the inside, but because of the banking, you can get a good launch on the outside. It's picking your poison here. Oh, Edgewater almost into the wall. Cars are going to be starting pitting around here. We are at the halfway point here in Seattle. Baker and Guy, are they going to work together to try to take the lead? Yeah, COVID has zero health. He's going to fade back a few positions because of it. Martin fully has the lead now. You see his cars? Yes, and we do see some cars coming in. Guy is first. Kromberg. Johnson. Edgewater. Looks like Brown has also come in. The speed limit is 65, but you don't have to slow down to 65 until you see where the gray stalls actually begin. The cone needs nothing in this track. All of these drivers are expected to take just gas, so it's just a matter of how fast can you get the gas needed to finish the race. Edgewater is first into a stall. We are following Kromberg here. Here is, meanwhile, here is the rest of the pack. Baker and Martin make up the top two of the drivers who are going to pit now. Martin is working his way in, and so is Baker. Out of the drivers who just left, it is the 20 of Guy who was out of there first. Now, can he work his way around before Baker and Martin make their way out is the question. Here come the vast majority and the rest of the drivers. Martin is the first into his pit stall. Again, everybody's getting just gas. Some of these drivers are still having to work all the way up their very long pit stall. Here comes Fontaine and Salter. The 25 of Sherwood is done and Martin is, Martin is staying in the speed limit. Him and Baker and Keys and O'Sherwood are out of there. And you know, Sherwood is going to be the first out of the pit stall. Followed by Noonan, Huckleberry, Martin, and Baker are ahead. Now the question is, where are the drivers that pit on the last lap? Edgewater and Kromberg are making their way around turn one. So is Johnson. Here comes the 40 of Cottle, who is going around that very well-built exit stall. And here come the mergers. Guy is, uh, Guy is now in first, with Mar oh, Sherwood is in first, with Guy in second, Martin in third, Baker in fourth. Five laps to go here at Armory Digital. The pack you see right now is the pack, one of these drivers from this pack is going to win the race. The rest of the cars are way too far back. The first driver in the next pack seems to be the... The four of Falcon Star and the 16 of Fontaine, Cottle and Pasquale too. But these are the cars that pitted the fastest. If you're a Mason Dixon Motorsports fan, this is what you much prefer to see. After a very lackluster season so far, with really every driver except Kromberg, Edgewater and Noonan, who are both in the bottom 10, are now racing where they should be, racing for a win. Four to go. Here we are in the cockpit of Kurt Guy now. It's all about timing and slingshotting if you want to win in these super speedways. Martin is basically taking the entire inside lane to himself. But it is making him slower though. He has no help way into the inside. 
losing plenty of positions here, the 70 is. And now it's the COVID and the Huckleberry battling for the lead. Looks like finally the 96 of Cromer goes back and inside to get a draft from Martin. The vast majority of the cars are on the outside. It's going to be three to go this time around. Guy almost into the wall. We are four wide here in the middle of this pack. This 12 car pack. One of these drivers has got to win it. Can they do it without a crash? Meanwhile, just a couple of seconds back is the next pack. I don't think they're going to have enough. I don't think this pack is going to have enough time to catch up, even though there are some very quality names in that pack as well, like Morrison Jr. and Falcon Star. As well as Pasquale, who's probably the biggest name of them all there. Also, all the rookies seem to be in that pack as well. But let's get back here. Lap 14, three to go. And now it's the middle lane that everybody's going to. Buck with Huckleberry has the lead. This is the back. This is what Buck with Huckleberry sees in this mirror. Is he going to go inside or outside? That it is, but Lamardi's got it. Martin is on the inside too. He's got a slingshot from some other driver. It's going to be the very last lap here, and Martin is taking the lead. Or is he, or is it still Lamardi? It is Lamardi. One lap to go. This is going to be a very intense final lap. It looks to be Lombardi versus Martin at the moment. But Guy almost comes to the inside and Martin blocks. Martin has the lead now. He's a full car length. Can he get clear of Lombardi? If he can get clear of Lombardi, I think he wins if a guy's looking. Now the two of keys is going into the inside as well. Martin is clear, but the Kurt guy is looking into the inside. It's gonna be a drag. It's gonna be a 12 car drag race all the way to the start and finish. Guys, there. Martin pulls off the block though. He's gonna go on the inside to his shirt, and that's gonna be it. A driver who's usually terrible at super speedways has just won it here in Armory Digital. The 70 of Lamont Martin, your points leader. The 44 of Pasquale pulled off the fastest lap. But your points leader gets his fourth win of the season. Definitely a heavy favorite to win a title. Guy in second, Huckleberry in third, Lamardi in fourth, and Kovic in fifth. And here comes Martin to celebrate, sliding along the infield grass. He did that at 100 miles per hour. I'm surprised he did it blow over while doing that, but that's what the roof flaps are for. What a performance from the 70. In every other super speedway race, he seems to crash out in the middle of it, but not this time. His Achilles heel is no longer his Achilles heel. Seems to be a huge advantage now from those slingshots that he got throughout the race, starting at dead last. If he can win super speedway races, who can realistically stop the 70 at the moment? We are far away from the playoffs, but I think we have a clear favorite.